Hey everyone, and welcome to the May 2020 update for Fusion 360 Manufacturing. Before we jump in, I just want to remind everyone that the Extended Access program is running through June 30th and gives you access to new commercial trials and the manufacturing extension for free, so you have access to tools and technology you need. Now on to the update. On the turning side, we improved the way we handle X and Z clearance values for profile roughing. Now, if the X clearance is set to a value that pushes it above the clearance radius, the toolpath is simply trimmed to the clearance radius with a warning, telling you that the toolpath was trimmed. We use the X and Z clearance values to define how far to keep the tool away from material while rapid traversing, making turning toolpaths a little bit safer. There are also several user-reported fixes for turning, so make sure to check out Kaching's blog for more info, linked below. If you're wondering how you get to be one of the people whose report is fixed, make sure to post on the manufacturer forum that the turning team monitors closely, also linked in the description. In FFF Additive, we now support different colors for different parts of the additive toolpath. The part is denoted in gray, supports in aquamarine, outer perimeter in red, inner perimeter in green, infill in orange, bridge in yellow, raft in dark purple, and skirt and brim in lighter purple. This should make it easier to view and catch anything unexpected during the toolpath simulation for FFF printing. Finally, on the extension side, we have some updates to steep and shallow. We significantly reduce the calculation time for 5-axis steep and shallow toolpaths that use automatic collision avoidance. We've seen times reduced by more than 50% in some cases. For a close look at the new tool axis tab and 5-axis parameters, check out the video in the upper right corner. We also expanded the allowable threshold angles to include 0 and 90 degrees. This effectively allows you to generate only steep or shallow passes within the steep and shallow toolpath, where steep passes are generated with a threshold angle of 0 degrees, and shallow passes are generated with a threshold angle of 90 degrees. That's it for this update. As always, make sure to check out the design and engineering update video, which is linked in the upper right-hand corner. Subscribe for more Fusion 360 content, and I'll see you next time.